So that was interesting. Well, we're getting kind of a late start this morning. Let's go! Let's go! But uh, we're gonna go out there and see what we can find. Uh, we're probably gonna just do some freestyling today. Not a whole lot on the map, really. Uh, there's a few estate sales, but they've been going on for a couple of days now. We might swing by there and see if we can find something that's maybe like 25 to 50% off. Uh, got a couple packages going out. Uh, got a Craftsman battery charger and a Guitar Hero dongle, the drum dongle. It's not as worth as much as the guitar dongle, but uh, it's going international. So we'll drop those two off today and then we'll hit some sales. First one of the day. Let's see what we can find. So I found this little plush at this sale. And, and um, I actually looked at it and then I went back to the truck and looked it up and these are going for like anywhere between 10 to sometimes 25. I figured I'd give it a shot, uh, especially for only a quarter. But it's a uh, Hasbro. Ham Ham Bijou, maybe? Uh, 2002. So, yeah, about 100 of them listed and about 50 of them sold. So, all right, so far this morning, uh, we've hit a couple of garage sales and nothing really to speak of. Um, man, I just want to say one thing. Well, let me tell you something, brother. If you're going to have a garage sale or an estate sale, get your signs right. I've been driving around this morning and it's like you see one at an intersection and then you go down the street and it's nowhere to be found. Nobody's getting hurt. And I just found this one. It's an estate sale and we're going to go in here and see what we can find. Hopefully something um, really not finding a whole lot this morning. Uh, there are some sales out. Uh, it's starting to warm up. It was a little rainy this morning, um, but it's drying up pretty fast. So hopefully it'll pick up a little bit. Let's go see what we can find. So that was interesting. Uh, it was an estate sale, but it was like people that are living in the house still and a um, little a little awkward and weird. They're sitting there watching TV and everything's got prices on it. Shut up. I'm sorry, it's just, where am I? Shut up! Um, I mean, I've been to one of those kind before. It's just, it's just kind of strange compared to like the other ones that you go to where uh, it's run by a company or at least family run and it seems a little more like people are moving out or have passed away or something like that. So, um, so yeah, um, nothing really in there. It was kind of a cool Yellowstone blanket in there, but I looked it up when I got back to the truck and there's not very many of those sold. It was, it was, um, it was kind of cool though. But um, yeah, we're gonna head on to the next one. Uh, at one of the garage sales that I went to uh, in between this, guy had a PlayStation 3 with controllers and I think about six games but they were mostly sports games, but he wanted a hundred dollars for it. And it's like, man, uh, it cracks me up sometimes the prices that people put on these things at garage sales and they are expecting to get it. And maybe somebody will pay it. Um, but I know I bought a PlayStation three last year for 15 bucks. So they're out there, but, um, yeah, we're going to head to the next one. See what we can find. Okay. So that estate sale wasn't too bad. Uh, I spent a lot of time in there just kind of looking around. They had a lot of stuff in there. Um, but I got this 
35 millimeter. Uh, everything was half off in there, so it wasn't great prices, but some stuff that I think will sell fairly fast. Uh, I think these are going for about 30. Um, and then I got the, the rare cover of the Indiana Jones. If this was sealed, this would be big money. But I just wanted to buy one to say that I found one. The black cover on the back, all black cover, I guess, is the more rare one. And they still go for like 10 bucks or so. Uh, paid a quarter for it. And then this Scrabble turn tiles. Uh, apparently this is fairly rare. Uh, there's only two listed right now and five sold. And they go, I don't know, I think one's listed for 25, one's listed for 45 or something like that, plus shipping. But it seems like they go for around 20. Um, I'll list it for maybe 20 plus shipping and see if I can get that for it. But um, yeah, it's just got the bag and the hourglass and the I guess instructions letter key thing in there so I think it's all there so um, I think we're gonna go and maybe see if we can find some breakfast and then see if we can hit some more so I hit another sale on the way still haven't made it to uh, get some breakfast yet but I uh, found this American girl uh, three books set um, it's not a whole lot of these listed it looks like the new ones are the ones that are selling but the ones listed right now are pre-owned so we'll see it probably won't be maybe maybe twenty dollars free shipping I paid a couple bucks for it so not great but it'll probably sell um, seems like there's about an even amount sold and, and listed so all right on to the next so I hit a couple of more sales. Um, at one, I've got this long sleeve Star Wars shirt. It's brand new. Um, I got these Golden Girls uh, pajama pants, which seem to be going for around 20. And I got some Xbox controllers. They're not in the best shape. They're missing some of the, the stick covers and stuff like that. And this one I think might be an off brand, but I got all of them for a dollar a piece, and then at the next sale, I got these FireX smoke alarms. This is a four pack contractor pack, and these are going for about 50 bucks, uh, free shipping I believe, and then this one I can just sell singly. I'm not really sure if this one is new or not, but I got all of them for five, so it's a pretty good deal. All right. On to the next. So I've hit a couple more sales since the last time I filmed. Um, not really much out there. It's getting later in the day. But I did find these hobby um, vintage swim trunks. Pretty cool. I remember this brand. Um, and it looks like they're going for, I don't know, maybe 20 or so. It depends on the, the design. And I didn't see this particular one when I was looking them up, but still pretty cool. Um, got them for 50 cents. Figured I'd take a shot on them. So I hit one more estate sale. Um, got this Sony Handycam. It said parts only on it, and they only wanted $5 for everything. And it's got like the charger and some cases, battery, strap, manual. So. If it doesn't work, uh, I can sell all the cables and everything. I only paid two fifty for everything, so two dollars and fifty cents. So I, th I think that'll be all right. I've sold those charger cables before, and they go for anywhere fifteen to twenty, something like that. And it's got the manual in there too. I've seen some of those listed. So they had another one in there that was actually a way better model, but they wanted thirty-five for it, and the the, the strap the hand strap was just falling apart on it and it had some somebody's name scraped in the bottom of it just put your name on it that's all i say be a man or a woman put your name on it and they said they got it to charge but they didn't have a tape to test it with so i didn't want to take a chance on that one at that 35 and half of that was 17 she offered it to me for 15 but still it's a little bit too much of a risk i've had those things before and they tend to eat tapes and stuff like that so i didn't want to take a chance on that one 
So this will probably be the last uh, stop of the day, and um, I'll have a little uh, recap at the end.